footage showed that work had started on Saudi Arabia's The Line. In the past few months, the project has been talked about a lot, and most people have said that it is too big to build and looks more like something from a science fiction movie. But now that the building has started, what will happen? Could this be the start of the biggest project the world has ever seen? Or will the line turn out to be a mistake that cost a trillion dollars to build and will eventually be taken down? Let's find out! Welcome to Unleash Billionaires, the channel dedicated to exploring the lives and strategies of the world's most successful entrepreneurs and business leaders. So join us as we uncover the secrets of the billionaires and learn how you can unleash your own success. Let's get started! Saudi Arabian's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman presented the line's precise design in July 2022, and we covered it in our first film about the line. He suggested two parallel, 500-meter tall, reflective glass buildings that would stretch 170 kilometers over the desert. This is equivalent to two parallel lines of 2001 World Trade Centers each. The line is not only the largest projected mega project ever, this is a new way of life. There would be no automobiles within the city, and everything would be within 5 minutes walking distance. Additionally, any water consumed will be sourced from a carbon-neutral desalination facility. This would transform line into a zero-carbon city. The idea was met with a mixture of amazement, surprise, and mistrust. Despite the fact that the trailers were viewed millions of times on YouTube and other platforms, there was little information about what was actually occurring on the building site. Consequently, nearly everyone felt that the line was only a publicity ploy. Then, roughly three months following Mohammed bin Salman's introduction, events took an unexpected turn. Construction commenced, OT Sky released drone images of the building site on the 19th of October 2022. The footage depicts excavator operators constructing trenches along the desert, which will serve as the line's foundation. According to the drone footage, the excavation has already extended extremely far into the interior. It is difficult to determine how far it extends, but they may be near to the mountains in the backdrop. The official map on Neom's website indicates that the line begins at this bay and passes through these mountains. Given the geography and the presence of the ocean in the background, it is likely that the footage was captured in this area. So, the length of the excavations could be between 10 and 20 kilometers. Additionally, additional infrastructure is being constructed around the entire project. There are many developments visible on Google Maps. Near the mountains, there is a whole complex with offices and campgrounds, a Neom community with a football field and swimming pools, and a Neom Experience Center. Since these photographs are not current, there are likely many more presently. So, now that the building has begun in earnest, what are the potential outcomes? There is nothing comparable in all of existence. We can thus only speculate on what will occur next. However, we can assert that there are essentially three potential possibilities. The first possibility is that building on the line will cease in a few months and even years without any occupants. Similar to the Jeddah Tower or Dubai Creek Tower, it could become a project with an uncertain construction status. In both instances, all inspiring visuals were displayed and grand promises were made. Construction had begun, and it appeared that the structures would be completed. Then, though, everything stopped, and no progress has been achieved since. However, this appears to be a less likely consequence for the line, given it is supported by an entire nation and has garnered worldwide attention. Bringing more tourists and investors to Saudi Arabia may depend on the project's completion or near completion. The second scenario is that Saudi Arabia spends extensively in their current ambitions and, over the course of the following decades, the kingdom delivers what it promised in its trailers. Certain characteristics, such as eliminating automobiles, producing 100% renewable energy, and implementing the concept of vertical living are certainly feasible. However, the project's enormous scale makes it appear impossible to complete. The line is expected to have a similar height to one World Trade Center, which took around 8 years to finish. Even though that is still a good amount of time, 
Saudi Arabia wants to build a building that is the same height but 170 kilometers long. Basically, this would be the same as building a long strip of 2001 World Trade Centers. Since there are two of these lines in the project, it would be the same as building 4,000 of them. If we just added up all the years, we would get 32,000 years. Of course, Saudi Arabia would build them much faster since they could work on more than one part at once. But this shows the size quite well. Basically, it would be a job for centuries. To give you another idea, the Chinese Three Gorges Dam was built by about 40,000 people over 17 years. But with a height of only 180 meters and a length of only 2.3 kilometers, it's tiny compared to the line. But there is a third outcome that could happen. Since they have already started building, they might be able to find a middle ground. At first, we wondered if this could be the biggest project ever or a mistake that cost a trillion dollars to build. But maybe there's something else you can do. Saudi Arabia could build it, but not at the crazy lens they had in mind. The line is made up of pieces that can be walked in five minutes. Saudi could build the whole huge project one piece at a time, depending on how long it needed to be. They could just make it longer. The line's height could also be changed, which would make the project more realistic and easier to build. With half the height, the entire notion of vertical living stays the same, and all elements can still be incorporated. Even if the line is constructed on a much lesser scale, it may be the world's first modern city without cars and introduce a completely new way of life. Multiple programs exist across the globe to make cities more car-free. However, these measures have been limited to lowering automobile usage rather than eliminating cars entirely. Changing this is exceedingly difficult because the majority of major cities are automobile-centric. With the line, they have the opportunity to start from scratch. It could be the first major metropolis in the 21st century where there are no automobile trips. All of a community's essential amenities should be within walking distance. And if not, a proposed underground rail system can be utilized for longer trips along the entire line. When the residents move in by 2030, they may live in envisaged high-tech society, but on a far lesser scale. Consequently, which of these outcomes is more likely? What do professionals have to say about this insanity? It is a project that few experts will deem doable, especially given the exceedingly short deadline. Anthony Vivas, Chief Urban Planning Officer of NEOM, stated to CNBC, I want to be clear about this. NEOM is a difficult, audacious, and very ambitious endeavor that will not be simple to implement. However, we are making significant progress and it is amazing to watch the concept become a reality. On the other hand, a large number of professionals who are not involved in the project express various worries. Marshall Brown, a professor of architecture at Princeton University, told the zine, There are so many physical and environmental phenomena that would need to be addressed to produce the image's extraordinarily simple and solitary appearance. What are your thoughts? Now that building has begun, will this project be successful? In the future, will people live there? Or will this project become an abandoned mega project? Share your thoughts in the section below. Thank you for watching our videos and for your support. We'll see you in the next one.